in my last part of video or last video we can we saw the arithmetical operations what all are the arithmetical operation we can perform and related to arithmetical operation what all are the functions are there in this video we will see the what all are the aggregation operators are there we can do the aggregation within the select statement using group by let me start we will get the data it's same i can copy also why to waste the time so till here it will be same control c control v so what i'm doing i'm getting the data from vba case so inner join vbap i'm joining the vba case vbap table with inner join and since cell order number is common and so i'm passing on the on condition and same way i want to get the customer number also and customer number description also so that is the reason i got the data from kna1 as well so we got the vbln i uh, in this case i don't want vbln since the with the sales order there will be no use of aggregation we can't do any aggregation maximum we can do the aggregation at the line item we can add the all the what all are the data at the line item level but i want to do some bit more i want to add the data at the customer level what the for particular customer how much amount we have sell what is the net price total we sell to this customer and how many line item for there and what is the average of that what is the maximum amount we have sell to that and what is the minimum amount we sell to that customer that kind of things we want so for that i want the kunnar this time kunnar is a customer this will be customer id but i want to display the customer not customer number i i want to display the customer name so i will use name one there will be the customer name is customer after displaying customer i want to sum up the net price data from the vbap table so what all are the net price for different line item there there will be different net price over there so i want to sum up all the net price not only for particular sales order we sell to this customer how many sales order was there then how much amount is there that i want to do so for that i want to get the data from item table item table what i data i want to get net price so net price i want to is but this time i don't want to get simply net price i want to sum up this data so i have to use some aggregation function i want to sum up this data is dot net price so net price let me first what i will do to so understand so i will not get syntax error into table at the rate data it underscore result or lt underscore result whatever you want result and if control space time the bar c is initial the tap one so this will give the sum up of the delta what is the customer id what is the problem what it is telling kunnar from select list is missing the group by clause okay so whenever we are doing the sum up of any data we have to use group by so because we have to we can't simply display without grouping the data i want to in this case i want to group all the data based on the customer number so how to use group by so in the group by apart from whatever we are doing summation average apart from those field we have to group by those all the fields so i will use group by if i would have done sales order level no use so that is the reason i didn't do so group by i want to use so that is the reason sap also giving the error group by this field control c i have to use identical name uh, so as so underscore kunnar comma i want to group by the customer number also i think what is the use group by okay we we have we are using new syntax obviously we into should be at last control v shift f1 we are getting some warning also specific na okay 
it's ignore it because the kna1 some enhancement is done and it's not proper that is the reason we are getting getting this warning that's not an issue our issue so we are getting the result like this so let me get the currency also from this item table i think there is currency field w a e r s something uh, okay there is some currency field so we are not getting the help why item table i used item control c what is the field from item table w a e r s i think where is, is currency there is some field there is what it is telling item where is this non okay let me see vbap table itself so we can go there and check what is the field exact field name i forgot actually control f w i it will be nearby net price only i think so somewhere here kpin net price w w w okay er name not no 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 let me open this with the uh, sap gui what happened okay sorry control shift a let me go again what it is searching i'm not sure if i clicked something vbap table uh open with sap gui sometime sap gui is more useful than this one because we can't see the exact description over here this is the source code base editor and we can see here easily all the description so control f NTPR net price we are having the net price uh, what is the uh, for this what is the unit control f unit of measure no quantity unit of measure sales unit uom we can see i can use i think base unit of measure means something was there i forgot one second paste down w a e r s net price w a e s d document currency let me get this one i think this this is the only document currency only we have to use w a e r k control v so this will be the currency we are getting uh, still there is error f f1 e we are having that field w a e r k in the vbap table correct no sorry W A R K item table V B A P oh that's a classical mistake I usually do so that is the reason help was not there or I am not able to see the data so still we are getting I think so now we should not get control space no S currency what is the issue now okay we have to use this field also in group by close that's also correct so name control v control f3 these are the usual errors we do and we have to make sure we should not do we should not do, do these kind of errors. let me do f9 control f3 before that let me display it out this is one of the function summation cl underscore demo underscore output control space Except enter let me get display class control space and i can pass this result over here control c and control v except f1 control f3 let me do f9 uh, just to see the sum up of data so you can see let me clear it out i always practice that sort of thing f9 so you can see we are having the customer id what is the customer num what is the customer id and what is the customer name and what is the currency and what is the total net price for that customer 
suppose along with the net price i want to get what is the maximum what is the average value first i want what i want to see so i can put comma same thing i can do average and i can pass this item net price over here control c control v is net and net along with net price what is the maximum value i want to see that also control v that also i can see like this what is the minimum value that also i want to see that i also i can do control v and is is mean minimum value i want to display and what what all are the line item count that also i can see count of this item net price is count shift up one these all are the aggregation expression we can use control f3 let me do f clear out the console and let me do f9 so we can see over here what is the customer name uh, for this customer what is the total net price and what is the total net price after that the net price is this one uh, what is the aggregation of the total net price what is the average of that for each line item if we get the average 6 for each line item what was the max amount we have sell to this customer what is the minimum amount we have sell and how many line item is 173 suppose i am considering this one we have only one line item in once this particular for particular customer we have one sales order and one sales order only one line item is there so we sell 50 amount and the net price is also 50 it's just in the exponential format exponential one if you multiply by 10 it become 50 again and what is the maximum value 50 minimum value 50 and total count of the line item is one like that we can do these are these all are the aggregation operator we can say we can use in our uh, select statement but we have to make sure we have to use group by or whenever we are using the group by we have to make sure we all are all the fields apart from the summations we are using those fields should become in the group by. even in the case statement also which we will see in upcoming video that also should come along with that case statement if i'm doing like that suppose i am doing the i don't i just for sorry one plus one is suppose this literal i used is two over here is two it's not a relevant example i just want to show you guys if i am doing some arithmetical operation over here 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so in this case sum is invalid due to the grammar wow what is this error okay there is nothing error so i will do 1 plus 1 is a 2 control f3 let me try to activate this one i think this one will work but some other arithmetical suppose i am adding some column uh, net price column control c i am using this one control v i am doing like this in this case whatever i did over here the net price select missing from group by so i have to use this as well in the my group by so i just want to show you this guys so item net price where w a e r k so i have to use the same thing over here in the group by so then only the syntax error will be removed and we can do even we are doing some arithmetical operation we are using function uh, some sale function floor function which we have showed you shown you already so that also if you are doing that also we have to repeat in group by statement then only it will work let me execute control f3 and let me execute one once again uh, let me clear out the console there will be one additional value f9 f9 so in this time one additional value we got where after w a e r k we got 2 is a 18.555 I just added one in the net price I have added one value and then I am displaying uh, so you can see so uh, how to compare I am not displaying as of now the net price yeah I am displaying the net price here so I have added here one and then displaying here I just added one value and then I am displaying for example here it will become 51 and it, here it is 50 so like that you can see uh, some arithmetical operation we have we are using that also we have to repeat and repeat and if you are using case statement that also we have to repeat in the group by segment i hope you learn something from this video please like this video subscribe this channel 
and share these videos with others as well so they can also learn. It will give me huge motivation to create videos like this. With that, thank you and happy learning.